My name is Lillian Dozo, and I'm the regional leader for World Vision East Africa region. As we mark the one-year milestone for the crisis in Sudan, it's important for us to reflect on the journey that has been and the challenges that lie ahead. Over 3.5 million children are internally displaced, making Sudan one of the biggest child displacement crises in the world. And the challenges that the Sudanese face are many. We are seeing children suffering from disease as they flee to crowded shelter sites. There's outbreaks of dengue fever, malaria, as well as cholera because of lack of water, sanitation, and hygiene in those crowded shelter sites. We are also seeing healthcare being a challenge and causing vulnerability amongst communities and children. With one in, in almost 11 um, health facilities, non-functional. We are also seeing acute food insecurity in Sudan. Today we hear that 42% of the population that represents 20.3 million people are acutely food insecure. All these are alarming statistics, but the most alarming is the number of children that have been forced out of school because of conflict. With 19 million children not in school today, and this is potentially detrimental for Sudanese society. Through our Sudan crisis response, known as SCREMA, World Vision has been responding to the needs of the most vulnerable. This is a multi-country response that covers Sudan, South Sudan, Chad, Ethiopia, as well as Central Africa Republic. To date, we have reached over 1.3 million people with much needed assistance in different sectors, including 683,000 children. Additional funding is required for a humanitarian response that has already been previously underfunded prior to the current conflict. In addition, Sudan crisis appears to be a forgotten one. When we look at the media today, it is not visible and not much is being said by those that are able to provide resources uh, for this crisis. So it's important that we continue to talk about the Sudan crisis and make sure that it remains in the global purview for us to be able to access adequate funding to meet the needs of those affected by the crisis. I know that a lot of you, our national staff, are taking risks to distribute food and to distribute medical commodities, even as you yourselves are badly affected by the conflict. Know that we recognize all your efforts and we are grateful for your continued commitment to this wonderful work that World Vision is doing in Sudan. Thank you to our donors, our partners and other stakeholders that are working with us in Sudan to bring hope and healing to the people that are affected by this conflict. It's our collective effort and collaboration that will continue to make a positive difference amongst the Sudanese. Thank you for your support and your collaboration.